Any Resident Evil 3. We get to play as Carlos now. Are you sure? It looks like a cemetery to me. Is this the one of the good Jill? I don't know. This is only the third Resident Evil game that I remember playing. Because it's the third one I've played this year. Does Jill do something bad in the fifth game? Does this remind you of anything? This reminds me of the beginning of uh, Resident Stop. Evil 2. Wait, Brad. Come on, man. Not you too. I recognize this guy. Wait a minute, what the fuck? Shit, it's locked. You stay on the door. I got this fucker. Come get some. Oh, what the fuck? How is he not dead yet? Jesus. Carlos shirtless? There's a mod that makes Carlos shirtless? Defeat zombie Brad. Brad Vickers. These stars. Wait, where did my partner go? Where'd that cop go? Don't know, don't care. We got a job to do. If our intel's still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Let's find him and take him into custody. Custody? I thought this was a rescue. Carlos, take a look at this. I've located the star's office. Remember. Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest... Yeah, we went back to a whole new game. We'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. We're back in Resident Evil 2. We can get through. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Hey! Be careful. Yeah. You too, man. Don't you guys remember? Oh my god. Have lapping timelines? It appears so. Who came first? The Leon or the, the Carlos? Area looks clear. What did the voice line say if you tried to look up Ashley's shirt? It's like, what are you doing, you pervert? Stop it! Leon! This is not the time for that! Machine gun felt kind of useless. But maybe Brad was just like a special boy. Can I go through here yet? Now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. We're here for Bard. I do not have the thing for that. Uh, each member of the force has been issued an ID card. From now on, the same card will be required to access all storage boxes. Do not lend your card to anyone. Oh. Ha ha! Got it, baby. That's Leon. Leave enough loot for Leon. What the 
hell was that thing? Oh no, is that fucking what's the dude in Resident Evil 2? Couldn't have been a zombie. What's that dude's name? <laughs> Leave enough loot for Leon. <laughs> is it Mr. X? Nemesis and Mr. X? Was that Mr. X? Oh! Ay, ay, ay. Is there a gun in here? Is that what it just said? This is just ammo. Ah! Oh, is that alive? Okay, moving on. Flash grenade. Those things are weak to flash grenades. Are they not? They might be. They might not be. I can't remember. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to your Daily Dose of Internet. Hey, are they watching Daily Dose? T, you copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it Locker is. Locker room cap. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. Remember that, guys. Write that down. Write that down. Locker room cap. Locker room cap. That's Leon. Shit. Fuck. Man, this guy sucks. Oh, we're back here in the locker room cap. Oh, come on. Okay, that one was not even fair. You and I both know that one wasn't even fair. Kiss a homie. Unlawful creation or possession of explosive subjects which came in suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. Suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of subjects' home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives of various stages of completion. Suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. Suspect spoke feverishly, feverishly well, when questioning began, and at one point questioning had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from suspect. Once questioning was resumed, suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you. Why doesn't anyone the saying? The corpses attack from the shadows. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow it up or you're gonna be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry, burn them up, burn the corpses, burn them good. During questioning, the subject began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Question was ended and a sedative administered. 
No, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. Suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into the suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device. Upon its admission into evidence, the battery was secured in a safety deposit room. Safety deposit room. There's still more in here somewhere. Maybe right in here. Oh, does anybody remember the safe combination in this one? Oh, man, I don't remember the safe combo. What the fuck? Alright, put him down for a nappy. Oh, thank God, a save room. What's up, Big Danny? How are you doing? It's six right, nine left, four left, two right, zero right. I don't think you're right. That sounds way too long to be right. Damn, Falcus, what a nerd. Shit, hang on, that's fucked. Cameras killed those things. I'd be set. It's real cap for real. Is it real? Is it the one from last night? No, it's the one from Resident Evil 2. Staying late to try and clear Risk of Rain 2. E Eclipse runs. Oh, are you still playing Risk of Rain Returns? I can ban Falcus. You wish. Carlos, the star's office is up ahead. Copy that. Locker room cap. No to a friend. Hector. If you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. While you're on, I'm going to try focus on finding a way to get to the other side. I realize the explosives might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room uh, during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could, but I feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need... To spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out of here as fast as you can. Your buddy, Wes. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Your upcoming move. I don't think he cares about the upcoming move, to be completely frank with you. He lost his best buddy, Wes. No rest in peace, Wes. Better not. Pussy. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it blocked? We're gonna go third floor first. Wes, also late. I hope you're doing good. You would think like seven bullets to the head would kill something, right? Shit. 
shit, what was this one? No, Cap was the one in the locker room. This one's not Cap. I don't think this one's Cap, because this one's not in the shower room. Yeah, this one's not Cap. Your tummy is not all the way better than, like, I expected it would be. Oh, I'm sorry. Fap? Fap? Nope. Dap? Isn't it Dan? Dam? Dale? Doc? What was this one? What were the other ones in Resident Evil 2? I'm trying to remember. It's going to tell me if I just can continue on. Bam! Nope. Bam. Fail. Button. The second I see it, the second I see it, I'm going to recognize. It's not fap. Trust me. I already tried masturbation. The second someone says it, I'll be like, yep, that's what it is. Cap. DCM. Maybe it's not that. Did they change the locks? It was DCM. No, it was only that. That wasn't worth it at all. Okay, it's not the same as Resident Evil 2. The cap one. That's the same as Resident Evil 2. Wait, I'm gonna go down here first. Is DCM the same? Heat resistant three number combination safe move from Star's office to West office first floor. L9 R15 L7. Dan farted. Someone write that down. L9 R15 L7. L9 R15 L7. L9 R15 L7. Let me store some stuff as well. Store. I'm gonna store my knife as well. Damn, a twofer. There you are, Fucking hell. Ninety-nine. L nine R fifteen L seven. Sorry, Leon. Stealing all the goodies. Sorry, Leon. One oh four. Yeah, of course. One oh nine. Let 
Okay, well. I can't even do anything with this. Third floor locker, DCM. Oh, look at that, guys. We did it. Look how smart we are. <laughs> He's locking everything. He's going to put some ammo in all the lockers and everything. Because, you know, he's such a nice guy. Well, I killed that fucking thing, so I'm going to save again. Ah, uh, no, you need a one and a two button, I'm pretty sure, so I can't open any of them. What's up, Gamer Pro? Good evening. Wait, maybe you do need a two and a three. You might be right. Well. Shit. Okay. Guess we'll be doing this the exploding way. I think actually you might be right. He's got morning hair. I know you ain't talking about me. I do have a one. 104, 106, What's my morning hair like, Burr? How messy does your beard get? I wake up and sometimes there's some fluffs in my beard. Mine now. Me when I buy something with money. Come to Papa. Me when I have a kid. Do you have gum in your beard? No, I don't chew gum. I don't need to save. We'll be fine. I'll save just to be safe, though. I don't want to die and have Cat Loaf make fun of me. Good night, Big Danny. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. Sleep well. Ah, you died. You should have saved, idiot. You wake up with gum in my... Be you woke up with gum in your beard this morning. You are capping. Copy that. Gotta move. Three seconds to move? What kind of bomb is that? You don't even have a beard? Are you one of those people that can't grow facial hair?
Convenience! Yay, convenience! Imagine not being able to grow facial hair. You'd never need to shave. But imagine you don't... But imagine... You don't really pull off the baby face look. Got to get everything. You know what they say, early bird gets the worm and we screw Leon over by taking all of his items. Sorry, Leon. Carlos was here first. Clean shaven your beard? What, as in going baby face? <laughs> That's what he gets for being a new hire. Dr. Bard. Oh, thank God. Do you know how long I've been trying to reach somebody? Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. Now, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Umbrella's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one who knows how to make the vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your dick in your hand or send, send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. And we can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. I'm going to check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. All right, I'll do everything else, a.k.a. kill Let's everything. Some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. He said he was in a hospital. No, we can't use that information. No, I don't really have much, so... A bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains on July 23rd. Star's Bravo team was dispatched into the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpected radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events at the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Star's. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be making some rap with T-pain. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. We will never know how they rhymed Wisconsin with mansion. Is that Jill in the front row? We will never know how they are able to rhyme Wisconsin with mansion. How did T-Pain do it? Hmm. There's still more in here? How the hell am I missing so much? Oh.
Yeah, what's up? Derailed. Was anyone hurt? Jill? Ah, shit. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! T, I gotta go. Do what you gotta. I'll take care of Bart. Leave Raccoon Police Department. I have not seen Travis Scott fail in an auto-tune. I don't think I know a single song by Travis Scott. All I know is he had a McDonald's meal. And it looked pretty horrible. Four second watch. Wait, let's finish this. Okay. Brian with the raid. Yo, what up, Brian? What up, Mal Pal? What up, Kendry? What up, Jamie? What up, Zombie? What up, Brian? What up, Walrus? What up, Matarooski? What up, Justin B. Bussin? Thank you for the raid. What up, Dizzy Cross and chat? Make sure you follow Brian. I was actually watching Brian while I was working on some stuff today for the stream awards. So, Brian, thanks for trusting me with the gamers. It's iconic. It is a very good alert. Chat, make sure you follow Brian. How was the uh, Breath of the Wild today? You were doing a hundred. You're doing a hundred percent playthrough of that game because you're fucking crazy. <laughs> but it's good to have everyone. If this is your first time being acquainted with me, my name is Burr, and I am a giant variety streamer who plays absolutely everything. Or Tears of the Kingdom. Ah, they're the same game to me. I, I didn't see that. I didn't see what game was in the category. I just saw Brian was streaming, so I clicked it, and I thought it was Breath of the Wild. A lot of map unlock today. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hell yeah. Welcome everyone in. I just got an email about my monthly phone bill. Being an adult sucks. We're playing Resident Evil 3 today because we did marbles on stream. We did a Grand Prix of marbles on stream and the winner of the Grand Prix chose we Resident Evil 3. Because we do marbles all the time. And when we do marbles, the winner picks a game. Because I have way too much trust in my Twitch chat. Carlos? Come in. Carlos? Oh, but welcome in, everyone. It's good to have you. 100 bits. Yeah, newcomers, hang on. You're on for one hell of a ride when you re in Burr's stream, lol. You're in for one hell of a ride when you're in Burr's stream. What's that supposed to mean? I'm pretty fucking... I'm also addicted to Marvel Snap. There's a... There's a... There's your warning. I'm also addicted to Marvel Snap. UBCS new weaponry notice. You got Sarah, bro? Damn, I'm jealous. Good news, limp dicks. Not you guys. I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put the brass back in your sacks. They're called Mine Rods. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D. And they will light your fires even hotter than the doors. Bear with it. Brian, thank you for the hundred bits. Hey, there's a hype train close by again. We uh, Should I go back to scamming? They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers. Don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at the walls or the grounds and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in an enemy's path, Ready? and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on these giant Falcus freaks. Falcus Live gifted a tier one sub to ITS Malpal underscore. They have given 27 Falcus, gift Falcus, thanks subs for gifting a sub to Malpal. Malpal, enjoy the emotes. Thank you, Falcus. Enjoy the emotes. Someone's being generous. And I appreciate that. Tell the motherfucker I appreciate it. I do try to be a professional uh, Resident Evil gamer whenever I can. 
there's a hype train if you want to try to get more emotes but also uh it's level one so if it fails then you don't get any emotes because twitch is so mean and stinky hey yeah, yeah. what are we doing down here that's me rolling in the bed I mean, that works. Lane, thank you for the 100 bits. Man. Stinky Twitch. <laughs> I like this. I probably shouldn't be wasting the bullets on fucking random joeys, but, you know, who cares? Who cares? This is my playthrough. I'll use those mines on random joeys all day long. Listen, when you see three zombies in Resident Evil, you don't want to kill them. You kidding me? That's way too much work. Walker's still alive. I can't stay here. We're also being chased by Mr. T, or Nemesis, whatever the hell his name is. Mr. X is the guy in Resident Evil 2. Nemesis is this guy. Clock Tower brochure. St. Michael's Clock Tower is a Baroque-style building which stands at the heart of Raccoon City has become a beloved icon, and the residents consider it to be embl emblematic of the city as a whole. St. Michael's Church erected this tower in 1908 with the assistance of several philanthropists. It was dedicated to the children born in the developing city, and the first floor was used as an elementary school for many years. The city saw further growth during its electrification over the course by the of the early 20th century, and the student body of St. Michael's Elementary swelled to over 600 students! Unfortunately, St. Michael Elementary was shuttered in 1978 as the building began to show signs of age and wear. The clock was deactivated and strict limitations were placed on entry to the surrounding premises. Years passed with this once beloved monument and public plaza on lockdown, but in the 1990s, the Umbrella Corporation worked in league with Mayor Michael Warren to renovate. What a, what a generic name. To renovate and reopen the area, this time with proper preservation efforts in place. The clock tower was officially reopened in 1993, and today the sound of its heavy tolling bells can once again be heard throughout Raccoon City. I do hear the clock tower is quite nice at this time of the year, so we should, uh, if you want, if you want, we can take a field trip there one day. Last of my bits, and I have a good question for you. Yeah. Who would win in a fight, Mr. X on Nemesis? Honestly, I feel like Nemesis could, based off what I've seen from Nemesis, he kind of seems like insane thank you for the hundred bits greatly appreciated why be the tour guide eh, that's work whoa i love shooting a box and getting the plant is that everything here i also kind of am a completionist for the people sticking around from brian's raid still i kind of uh in this game, I in these Resident Evil games that I play, I kind of just try to take everything. Bitch can't swim. <laughs> That's you guys when I tell you I can't swim. Carlos, respond. Yeah, what's up? Hey, OMG fam. We didn't make it. The train derailed. Everybody's dead. Mihail, everybody. Oh, shit. Nikolai left us to die. Wait, what? Green. Oh, it's back! Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Yeah, I don't think uh, Mr. X is beating this thing. You kidding me?
Me when I have to defeat this giant fucking monster for the eighth time. Ah, come on! Oh, that dodge! Did you see that gamer dodge? You see that? St oh, fuck. Never mind. I see if there's anything I can explode on him besides my guns. Cat, have you played Resident Evil? Sorry, whenever I whenever I play a game, I need to know if you've played it. I'd like to watch you play Resident Evil. Everyone should just become a variety streamer. No, no but I enjoy watching it. It is very good. You're eating appetizer leftovers from Crimbus? What are you eating? Holy shit. Oh my god, that, that's me doing parkour. Would you like to watch me play Resident Evil? I guess. Oh, I think I needed a mine there. I don't have any mines. Dragon Link told you were marble choices. You were probably praying Resident Evil 3 won, that's for sure. If I was told the choices, I'd be praying for Resident Evil 3 of the other ones. No offense to Xenoblade Chronicles 3 and... The other ones, but Resident Evil 3 just seems the best one. We gotta have some action in between our Dong and Rampa. Look for a mine. Dude, there ain't... Well, there might be one over here. Can I get over there? I, need to stop it in the tracks. I know you do, baby. That's what we're trying to do. not the same ever since Burr got addicted to Marvel Snap? What? What's not the same? Green's not the same since I got addicted to Marvel Snap? Cheese pieces shaped like trees dip in these butter pastry things I made with brie, fig jam, and prosciutto. Mm. 
screen. You're also not the same since I got addicted to Marvel Snap. Hate to break it to you. Snap is the leading cars of baldness for men age 25 to 30. Or 20 to 35. Oh, man. I'm right in the middle of that. Maybe I don't even have to shoot him right here. Oh, fuck you. Come on, do a lap, do a lap, do a lap, do a lap. How much do I need to do to this thing? Is it dead yet? Nah, fucking hell it ain't. We got it. It was I was doing the right thing. He opened the path for the next area. annoying. For fuck's sakes. Oh. Done me a big favor. 
Mm. Feels like it might taste like, uh, pork. Leave the clock tower pizza. Plaza. Jill! Tyrell, do you copy? What's going on? Jill's been infected. I... I'm taking her to the hospital. Maybe Dr. Bard can save her. All right, I'll meet you there. You hang in there, super cop. I got you. Heck, bye, Jill. This game has a lot of resemblance resemblances to Resident Evil 2. I need Jill. I'm gonna get you the vaccine. Me a cat when we were getting COVID vaccines. Okay. I promise. Like and subscribe, YouTube. Let's play.